Well, hey there, Catherine from CatherinePooler.com. I am doing a fun window shaker card today in celebration of our A to Z in the craft room summer event over at Stamp Nation. If you're not a member of Stamp Nation, you're definitely going to want to go over and check it out, katherinepooler.com slash Stamp Nation. Our members get access to early ordering, uh, exclusive products, they get online classes, and events like this A to Z in the craft room. So all summer long, we have been going through the alphabet and celebrating fun techniques and products with our creative team and other friends in the industry and today it's my turn and I thought I would share this video on my YouTube channel and let everybody enjoy it and then of course invite you to come over and join us it is a super fun super positive uplifting group of crafters and you'll love being a part of it so on to the window shaker card so the first thing I did was take my circle die cut I cut out a circle from a patterned piece of paper and then the card base itself. And then I wanted to make a little shaker element or shaker pouch or kind of like a little shaker box to sandwich in between those two layers. So I'm taking uh, some acetate. This is from ellenhudson.com. Just took two pieces. They're a three and three quarter inch square and I'm using my 3M mounting tape. I'm cutting it in half and then doing a double layer there so that it's tall and the shaker or my sequins will have room to move around. Doubling those up there and then just uh, um, just dumping them out in the middle, just putting a fair amount of them in there and then adding this other piece of window sheet and then I have a little shaker pouch. I will sandwich that in between. Look how cute that is. I could shake, shake, shake that all day long. I love shaker cards. So I'm gonna stamp my greeting on the inside of the card. I just had a scrap piece of paper sitting there. I always like to kind of test out my stamping before I go straight onto the project. So I just tested that out with Be Mine and it looked great. And then a little mint to be for life is better in flip flops. Now that my grading is done, it's time to assemble the card. Warning, the inside of this sandwich is not gonna look pretty, but it doesn't matter because no one's gonna see it. <laughs> so I'm just doing liquid glue around the circle, adhering my little shaker pouch on there, making sure there's no glue on the front. I had a little bit there, but I just wiped it right off. And then I'm gonna add some more dimensional adhesive. And because on that shaker pouch, there are two layers, be sure to add two layers to the rest of the card too so that it lays flat. And now that not so attractive inside is now covered up and this card is so cute. Let's finish it off with some flip flops. So these are the coordinating flip flop dies that go with the sunscreen required stamp set. You can stamp the flip flops and die cut them out or you can just use the dies. So the little thong guys, the straps on the flip flops, just gonna dip those and dab those onto the Be Mine ink pad and get them all cute and pink. And by the way, there is the pack of paper that coordinates with this whole release. You can check all of this out in the shop. The links will be below in the description on YouTube if you uh, would like to see any of that. But just adding on those little straps, gluing those on with some Nuvo liquid glue and that's it. It was pretty quick and easy to make this window shaker card and it might look a little bit more complicated than it actually is. So hope you guys are excited and you're inspired to go make a gorgeous card for a friend today. Thank you so much for being here and I can't wait to see you over on Stamp Nation. 